Hi, welcome back to Let's Build. Well, I've had a request to show you my build for the Toyota Celica GT4 rally car, and specifically the one in the uh, Castrol livery, or at least as close as we can get in the game. So this is my car. I've had it like this for some time, and I'll be honest, I can never find a build I prefer on this car. So once I got this livery unlocked, which we'll talk about in a bit, I've never changed it. I actually don't think that I will. Anyway, let's go and get it built. I haven't been through this rage, it's so the parts will be as much of a surprise to me as they will be to you. I'm very sure though this car has 100% armour, bulletproof tyres and all the performance parts to maximum because although it understeers and is a bit boring, it can be a very effective uh, car for the tuner races. Front bumpers then we have stock and the rear bumpers we have as stock. The exhaust, I have the race exhaust just to give this single pipe here and I assume I picked that for being not completely over the top. Fenders are stock, you can see these arch extensions but uh, they are surprisingly not used and just as well because of course in GTA the wheels never extend to fill the arches. We don't have any fog lights, there are a fantastic set of rally uh, lights there if you want them though. Headlight covers and this is one of the first things that I was so grateful for. I still remember when I did the car that the real car has headlight covers in here and so does this one. Those um, secondary headlight covers I've got. For the hood, I want some hood catches and I've gone for the chrome pins here in the corner. And for the hood, it's actually just a stock hood. I think that gives the best for the intakes on here. For the interior, of course, tune a DLC car, you can do everything. So, on the dash, I've gone for the race dash and stripped interior. For the doors, I've gone for carbon door panels. Now, I'm not going to pretend these are all exactly as per the Castrol car. They are simply the ones that, for me, evoke the feeling of the rally car. I've gone for the carbon track seats to have some of the bolder seats and some red harnesses. I've gone for an Apex Professional wheel. Now the roll cage, I've got padded reinforced cage and I think there may be a bit too much padding. If we just look at full roll cage, that might be closer, you know. I don't particularly have an internal picture, but roll cages generally only have a little bit of padding, perhaps right near the driver's head, not over the whole cage. So let's say full roll cage is a change there. Headlights, I stay with the stock yellowy lights. The livery, okay. The zero gas livery unlocks at tuner rep level 184, and that's why this car featured heavily in my guide to getting tuner rep points, which I made a year or two ago, and is in fact still getting quite a lot of watches. I wanted this livery so bad, I effectively just did daily tasks in the car meet, along with uh, returning a few cars to the docks and doing up cars like the. Uh, the one that you see behind me here and delivering them to get my tuner rep up. Now if you don't have it up at 184 there are other convincing rally liveries they're just not the Castrol livery which anyway has blue where it should be green but one I've used before that I like is this one very much the Redwood rally one and the Bukaru rally one also looks pretty good I think then the main two I've used is there a third one yeah the narc one even I can't remember which rally car it looked like but the narc one also was close so you do have a selection of other ones that either are unlocked with the car or at least unlock at much lower um, levels stock on the mirrors red for the mud flaps plate is of course up to you I've gone white because the car's white for the respray, it's a classic ice white. You could, of course, also use the crew colour with the, uh, the crew white, which I've shown in other videos. But you see, I don't see any livery problems on this car. I don't, in other words, there's no pure white bits of livery that are slightly clashing with our white paintwork. So I don't think you need to worry. Ice white is fine. 
I don't know what my secondary colour is. Okay, my secondary colour is matte black. Or matte light grey I went for. Matte light grey for the secondary and that was for the roll cage. Trim, well I've said dark steel but it's anything in the uh, dark colours. Accent colour, I simply said ice white. I know I've asked on videos before, if anybody knows what Toyota's signature colour for lights are, let me know and I'll change a couple of my cars to have that signature colour. The roof we have the primary box vent on it and the skirts are standard of course you're unlikely to have deep skirts on a rally car. The spoiler is the primary GTF wing. Suspension, well it's a rally car we're not going to go too low but you know I can't live with them sitting in my garage looking like this and I'm thinking well they always did tarmac stages as well as rough stages and they lowered the car for the tarmac stages so I think sport suspension looks about right oh trunk is a uh, stock for the wheels I think that the closest are the endo v1 they are in the sport class and I should explain why because we have this endo curl on the end of every single spoke and that is not there on the rally car the rally car has straighter spokes but I just think these spokes are about the right profile and they finish on roughly the right part of the wheel towards the edge we have a lot of quite nice wheels but the dish on them is huge and the Celica is just one of those cars that doesn't really have a dish on its wheels so I find this very close however in I think it's track category we have this wheel now this is very close the spokes are the right shape but they're a little big there's uh, five of them but they need to come right to the edge which is perfect and they're called rally monoblock so we've got rally in the name unfortunately you also have a chrome ring and in if you take it outside especially that chrome ring can really show up even on a white wheel that is what puts me off this particular wheel and the other wheel that we could use is stock wheel now the stock wheel has too much of a dish but there is a way on PC of painting those white and another alternative is in street again I think the beginning ones have a lower profile tyre something like the Stance EG Custom these are what I had on the car for a long time because the star spoke is really good and they just look really cool on the car I think they look fantastic but as I say the Celica is not a deep dish uh, car it's just not where the hubs are on the car so ultimately I'm going to stay Endo V1 as the closest but hopefully I've given some ammunition for some comments of course we're not going to have uh, any tints on our windows there's nothing else in the list so that is the build on the Castrol Celica GT4 rally car completed now we're going to take it out for drive in the daylight but of course it's never daylight when you come out is it anyway I hope you enjoyed this build if anybody's got a build on this car that they really really like that's real world do let me know because I've been looking for variety on the car I don't just want the stock um, Oh no, I don't want the stock Celica GT4 and I just can't find anything else to put on it so do let me know. If you enjoyed the build please give me a like and a comment would be great and if you like real cars in GTA then don't hesitate to subscribe because that's what the channel is all about. Anyway here it is in my rally collection which you'll see at some point. I hope you have a really great 2024 and thank you so much for watching.